Afternoon, YouTube Sidekick here in my Israeli Skyhawk. You'll have to excuse me while I get the jet configured here. Uh, we appear to have a bit of a situation on our hands. We're under attack. Today is Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, the holiest day in the Jewish calendar, basically. It's also a day that our neighbors to the north and south have decided to attack us in force. In the south, Egyptian units are attempting to cross the Suez Canal and enter the Sinai Desert. Up here, in the north, Syria has thrown large armored formations against our defenses in the Golan Heights. I'm not going to lie to you, the situation is very serious. The Syrian air defenses, thanks to the help of their Soviet patrons, are very good. In addition to their static SA-2 and SA-3 sites, they also appear to have deployed very new mobile SA-6 batteries. This makes it uh, basically impossible to operate at any altitude anywhere near the front line. They also appear to be very well equipped with Shilka radar guided AAA vehicles and it looks like maybe even manned portable SA-7 IR missiles. We have already had several jets that were lost today, including at least four Skyhawks. Um, this cannot continue. Our ground troops are very good and they occupy well chosen positions but they're thin on the ground until the reserves arrive. Also, we don't have a lot of artillery, so they depend on the Air Force to provide fire support. We're going to have to find a way to be effective even in the face of those SAMs and those guns. So we're out here today with a load of Mark 82 bombs, and frankly, we're going to drop them on enemy tanks, or we're going to try trying. Apparently, the tankers have blunted the first advance and shot up the bridging vehicles that, that they need to cross the anti-tank ditch. Now the remainder are milling around waiting for more to come up. So this looks like our chance. As far as targeting information goes, we have simple instructions. The enemy are in front of Tel Avital, which is what you see coming up in front of us. You can't miss them. Just look for the smoke of burning tanks. So, the plan is first to do a quick pop-up, see what we can see of the target area, and then uh, plan our attack. So up we go. Okay, we're going to deploy countermeasures every time we pop up as soon as we get that tracking tone. Okay, I see some smoke. Okay, look at the smoke, the southern smoke there near the road junction. Okay, got it. All right, keep going with those countermeasures. Let's go down and figure out a route so we can uh, drop on those tanks. Okay, let's go back here a ways. down, get rid of that radar warning tone, okay, let's turn around, make a run back up. So what I saw was there's like a paved road with a track that intersects it, and the tanks are up that track a little ways. So what I'm going to do is find that road which uh, comes up here out of our territory and across the line, uh, sort of on the south side of Tel Avital. We're going to use that as the mark. We're going to pop up when we hit it, look to the left, find the track junction, go up it, find the tanks, and try and get on them as quick as we can. Here comes the road. And we're up. There's the smoke. There's the track. There's the vehicles. Tracking tone, get the countermeasures going. Roll over. Got to get the pipper on the target. All right, hold it steady just a little while longer. And pick them, and we're off. All right, that's round one. Definitely are a few folks in the valley who don't want us to be here. Okay, let's go around for another go. So you may have noticed that I haven't uh, adjusted my sight. I decided with the amount of uh, fancy flying we were probably going to have to do, I'd rather have the sight at zero, and I'm just dropping off the bars on the bottom of the, of the uh, sight, uh, probably around uh, about 70 to 80 mils down, so seven marks down. Okay, we're going to turn around again. Let's do it again. Drop four bombs that time. We got six left. Okay, there's Tel Avital on the left. Looking for the road. 
stay low, below the radar. Okay, the road is coming up. There it is, up we go. There's the smoke, there's the track, there's the target. Get the countermeasures going, get in, roll in, and we're a little off to the left. Ease it back, ease it back. Up a little longer this time, maybe. And pickle, and off. Pull hard away from that AAA, get down low. Alright, let's get down behind Talbentel here, get out of the radar. So far we've managed to avoid a SAM launch, that's good. We don't want to take a whole lot longer on those runs though. Well, do we want to take a chance on doing one more the same way? It's just, uh, it's just really easy to line up on this pattern, so I think I'm going to take a chance. A little bit worried that they'll see us coming, but we're out of sight for most of the run. So. Let's pull around, we get two more bombs, let's try and do some good. Okay, there we are, lining up. Waiting for the road. And we're up. Rolling over, looking left. There's the smoke. There's the targets. Hold it a little bit. Make sure we're lined up on that track. Okay, last chance. Going to drop a little bit longer this time. And pickle. And break out of here. All right. Let's get down out of the radar so wasn't really able to tell how well we did on those so I'm just going to go around one more time here take a quick pop up and see if we can get a quick bomb damage assessment before we go back home to rearm pull it around up we go we're out of countermeasures so we're going to have to make this quick looks like the army's still doing some good over there too yeah, I see at least three fires down there. So, I think we did our bit. Still an awful lot of Syrian vehicles down there, though. Yes, my friends, it's fair to say there is still a lot of work to be done. So, I'm back off to rearm. If you're enjoying these videos, Please subscribe to the channel so we can keep making them. For now, this is Sidekick, signing off.